Alright, what's up everybody, Snakes and Forties? And this time we're back with another Ballast Point, as always. And uh, we're here with the Mango Even Keel. So, just right, probably like half hour ago, I had my first Even Keel, just the original version, for uh, the first time. And now I'm going to try one of these Mango versions. So if you guys saw my other review on the Even Keel, you know, I wasn't really impressed, but I pretty much took it for what it was, you know. Um, it's pretty much a sessionable beer. You're supposed to kind of sip on it all day and, um, you know, just give you a nice even ride. You're not supposed to get too crazy on it. And, uh, but the biggest thing my gripe was, was, you know, there wasn't too much flavor going on. Um, they tried to copy some things from the IPA, but I, I really didn't see it happening too much. But, uh, uh, um, a real good try to make something a real strong beer, um, into kind of, you know, more sessionable, a 3.8. So let's read the description real quick. So our Mango Even Keel is an ideal uh, beer for easy drinking. This hoppy, sessionable ale gets a flavor boost from mango, which perfectly pays off its citrusy hop banquet. Um, bouquet, I'm sorry. With fruit hops and a low ABV, this beer is truly on another level. All right, let's find out. All right, so there it is poured out. Looks like it's got a little bit uh, less transparency to it than uh, the Even Keel did. Um, but you know what, let's give it a try. So the recommended food pairings, as well, I'll go over the stats real quick. I already said 3.8%, just like the even keel. Um, 40 IBUs, the same. And uh, But the food pairings are vanilla gelato, avocado, and mahi-mahi ceviche, and Stilton cheese. All right, well, let's give it a try. You know what? This makes up for what I think the, um, the even keel is. Um, this is almost like fruit juice, I feel. Um, in some of the other beers, like I mentioned before, um, like the Pineapple Sculpin and some of the other stuff, I'm going to try the Watermelon Dorado after this, but, um, you know, you don't really taste too much of the fruit. This one really comes in strong. I think this one is to kind of make up for the flavorlessness of the even keel, um, but, uh, this one, they way went over, this is the most, uh, fruity, uh, fruitiness I've ever experienced as far as flavor-wise. Usually it's a subtle notes, but this one they really went strong and hard with the mango, which I agree with this kind of beer. I um I really like what they did. Let's give it another try. Man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Definitely can see myself, you know, drinking this on the beach, just relaxing, you know, enjoying some of these and you know, not getting too crazy. This is what I feel like the even keel should have been. And I think they perfected it with this mango version. Um, so yeah, if you guys, uh, my opinion, definitely, if you have the choice between the two, go with the mango even keel. Um, way better than the original, in my opinion. I barely just had it. But um, chock full of flavor. almost like drinking fruit juice. I know if that's not your thing, you know what? Try something else, but uh, this is a winner. All right, everyone, Snakes and 40s, signing out.